in obtaining a representative grab sample, prepare the designated sample taps per the procedure for conducting a pH test. This requires testing the pH on a sample of treated water, as well as testing a sample obtained from a designated raw water sampling point within the plant. In many older water treatment plants, designated sampling points may not be to the current design specification for sampling. If you must use tubing as in this instance, ensure it's maintained and changed out as appropriate. Bring the sample to the testing work area. In this illustration, the operator has prepared for the pH test while a sample tap has been running. The operator starts by carefully cleaning the probe with ultra-pure water. She uses a clean lab wipe to remove any excess water left on the probe. The operator starts by setting up the instrument, first by completing a three-point calibration. The first step is completed with a standard pink pH buffer solution of four. In this instance, the instrument walks the operator through the process and tells her when to switch the probe. In between each buffer, the operator will use the ultra-pure water to carefully rinse and wipe the probe to ensure the buffer from the previous calibration point is cleaned off. The lid is returned to the pink buffer solution. Next, the operator uses a prepared yellow pH buffer solution of 7 and follows the prompts on the instrument. The operator rinses and wipes the probe again after the second buffer, again ensuring it's clear of contamination. The lid is returned to the yellow buffer solution. Finally, the operator uses the prepared blue pH buffer solution of 10 and follows the prompt on the instrument. Once the instrument has read the third buffer point, it will create a slope to show that the instrument is reading correctly. The slope is recorded in the appropriate log document. Again, the third buffer is cleaned off the probe with ultra-pure water and cleaned with a new lab wipe so as to not contaminate the water sample. The lid is returned to the blue buffer solution. The operator is now ready to check the pH of the water samples with the sample being placed in the designated container. Start with the treated water sample first. The operator initiates the reading process on the instrument. Once the reading is complete, the operator records the results in the appropriate log document. Rinse the probe in between samples and dry. Repeat a second time with the raw water sample and record the result. When the operator is done, she rinses and dries the probe and maintains the probe in the appropriate storage solution.